Hello everyone and welcome to a day in the life. I've got a hectic one today so I thought I'd share it with you. Currently standing at the doctor's at 20 to 8 in the morning, joining the queue to try and get an appointment. You know how it is, you ring up, you can't get one, you stand outside the door and hope to God you do get one. Anyway, it was for my son because he's got something that he's worried about and I thought we need to get checked to make sure he's okay, clear his mind. Then I took the kids to school and um, walked the dog and then I'm back in the kitchen where I belong. Back in the kitchen clearing up the worktops, trying to load up the dishwasher, get everything prepped so that it can work its magic while I tackle other stuff. But today is like the busiest day ever that I've had in a long, long time. And yeah, I didn't know if I was coming or going. I don't think I sat down for longer than like three minutes every time I did get a moment to myself. Collecting up all the rubbish and the recycling that I'm going to take out, get the kettle on Gabby, go on yes probably forget that i've even boiled it and do something else which i normally do i look like a mad woman i look like an absolute unhinged mad woman like skittering about the place well, i'm always in such a rush i'm always like i've got to get this done i've got to get that done i hope everyone's okay i hope you're having a nice week you know we're going into the week weekend which is nice i'm literally ready for it well i'm not I'm not ready for it. Mentally, I'm like, I want to be ready for it because I just want to unwind and relax. But I've got so much to do. It's unbelievable. I've got so much to do today. And this day here that I'm showing you has uh, really wiped me out. And I've got a really bad hay fever today. So I know full well that when I wake up tomorrow, the day I'm supposed to be driving all the way to Dover, I'm going to have a flare up. But um, you just have to go with it, don't you? You just have to make the best of what you can. And hopefully it's not going to be too bad. I'm just trying to relax as much as I can today. So taking Chase out, all that washing I put out, rained, didn't it? Flipping rained, like that misty rain where you look out and you go, it's not too bad. Anyway, a little trip down the shop quickly because I realised we have no milk. And look, this turned up the other day. The boys are well excited to see this come in. Well, our hardcore arrived because Nick's re redoing the driveway. And so, yeah, the boys love watching that that get dropped off onto the driveway bless their little hearts so i am heading down to go and get milk because you know you get all your shenanigans done in the morning and it's like oh i can't wait to get back have a cup of tea sit down and have some breakfast could i no i needed milk yeah and i couldn't get it when i went to, to book him in at the doctor's because i wouldn't get back in time to get them ready for school so it's always go 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 but yeah, heading down to Sainsbury's, getting really annoyed with a car in front of me because she didn't know whether she was coming or going and thought she'd debate it. And then she didn't even shop in Sainsbury's. She parked in Sainsbury's and fucked off over the co-op. But anyway, I'm in here getting getting what's needed. You know, they didn't have the Sainsbury's bread, so I went for Hovis. It was quite nice, actually. I don't normally get that one because it's twice the price. You know, why don't I just get the Sainsbury's one? And and yeah, but it is, it is nice. I thought I'd get Sam's a big bag of buttons to cheer him up. Got some milk, got some bread, and then, yeah, took forever to get that £5 note in there. It's like, do you want my money or not? Because I'm, I'm more than happy to just have it for free. It just didn't go in. Had my frosted frosted wheats. I love frosted wheats, but they're not as frosty as they used to be. Does anybody else eat them? Those, and I like raisin wheats as well. Oh, oh, they're good. Oh, gosh, please, does anyone remember Kellogg's Start? That was like my favourite breakfast growing up. That and Wheatos, but Start was just like, oh. I tried to sort out all the washing on the beds and then Sam came in and said he was ready to go. So I'm sat in the waiting room while he's in there seeing the doctor. And then I get back and I'm like, right, I need to sort myself out. Give my face a wash. Wash that face. I was bursting for a wee. I was literally jumping about all over the place. And I was like, oh, God, I'm going to wet myself. I'm going to have to go. I literally flew down those stairs. Got back up, started putting some cream on, trying to get some youth to that face and then face is on face is on ready for the day and then i tried to tackle a bit more of all the washing on the bed because it's just mounting up i'm trying to get as much wash because sorry if i keep going quiet for like a few moments it's because i've got a blocked nose from hay fever but i'm trying to get through as much washing as i can so that come tonight um if the boys in it, whatever the boys want for when we go away this weekend, it's all cleaned and ready to go. I've just got to give it an iron and then we're all good. Yeah, look, I, I thought I heard Sabaton playing. So I went into my son's room and I was like, yeah. Honestly, that poor boy, he must think I'm mental. I was like, I hear it. My little senses were like picking up on Sabaton. And yeah. Oh, anyway, the bin, the bin boys have been. And then a parcel came for Nick. 
and then I thought right unload the dishwasher before I have to head off out again but it didn't clean properly so I was like right you're gonna have to go on again aren't you yes you are I know what it was I um I had these like herby potatoes and they were covered in all like this oh yeah herby stuff really really nice and um it, instead of like washing it all away it's just splattered over all the cups and like stuck in all the corners so I thought I'd just stick it on again got the washing in and put some more out yeah misty rain was coming look it was really muggy as well like yeah something was brewing did anyone hear the thunderstorm the other day I stayed up really late I was so excited I was watching it roll in from France thought I'd sit and watch a bit of Handmaid's Tale before I have to get my taxi and there's my car getting fixed because it's the windows leaking and I had to leave it there wait for a taxi outside home bargains and yeah just sat there but um what was I saying can't remember oh the storm yeah Sam said it was so big that it um literally shook his bedroom door as well as the house felt so weird being in a taxi I'm usually the one driving or being the taxi so to have to be driven around just feels really really weird and I find myself like putting my feet on the floor like for breaks and stuff I'm like oh my god that was a bit close but yeah and then we're home again gotta wait for my car to be fixed before a taxi back down there but I picked up my little little ones from school and then we're back in a taxi to go and get my baby there he is yes another nip to Sainsbury's to get some food in honestly this is like every day I never get a chance to sit down it's constantly on the go and then it's like how do I keep on top of the house how quickly cooking dinner I haven't even taken my coat off I'm just like constantly constantly on the go I'm doing chicken burgers with lettuce and mayo and some chunky chips oh, oh I love a good chunky chip I do dunk it in the mayo so nice good luck trying to sh sh close those burger buns look at them yeah and then where do I find myself Tesco the same flipping evening these are nice though down to a pound they're really nice mugs but I just didn't like the prints on them um got distracted in the old cleaning aisle sweets the reason I'm down here is because Oscar does like a car event every Thursday night so I sit in the car park like now I've got a McDonald's hot chocolate I just sat there and watched all the bell ends going around thinking, God, I hope they don't think I'm here to watch them. And it's nearly nine o'clock at night and I'm finally back. And I thought, right, I sort out the packed lunches. Boys are in bed. Trying to do it. I still got my, my coat thing on. Yeah, it's never ending. It's never ending. There we go. And then I catch up on a bit of EastEnders and then get into bed. And that is my manic, manic day. I hope you're all well. And I will see you in my next one. It's just a quick random one. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one.